This program is brought to you by the Gorton History Channel. Henry Hudson for the Netherlands by Kelsey DiCarlo and Sarah Marcello. The English explorer Henry Hudson was born in England in the year 1565. He grew up in a wealthy family. The other portion of Hudson's life was spent working on sea navigations. In 1609, Henry was hired by the Dutch East India Company to search for a new passage that would lead their crew to the East Indies. He sailed upon the half moon with his crew members. This ship was not large at all. It was only 60 feet long with a flat bottom. Jodicus Hondius had searched for this passage in earlier years but had not done enough research. His theory was that there was a passage through the continent of North America. Once Henry Hudson had given up on looking for the Northern Passage, he decided to sail Hondius' way by going through North America. Throughout his travels, he sailed to Nova Scotia in what is now Cape Cod. The half moon got caught in a storm, so Henry and his crew drifted south where they discovered what is now the Hudson River. The sea setting us upon the ice has brought us close to danger. They sailed up the Hudson River for about 150 miles until they realized that this was not the waterway that they were looking for. Henry had not failed his journey entirely because he had claimed some of the land he explored and turned it over to the Dutch. The land may be profitable to those who adventure it. Once the Dutch claimed their lands, they planned to trade with the Indians. Some of the things the Indians had were valuable to the Dutch. They set up a trading post along what is now New York and called it New Amsterdam. Instead of returning back to Holland, Henry Hudson sailed to England to begin his other journeys. On his last voyage in 1611, Henry, his son, and a few other crew members were called upon mutiny. They were set adrift on a rowboat never to be heard from again.